Dude, June, June 26, 2021 could be a different story than anything we've seen so far. I mean, SFAT is a little bit of the style bender though. I feel like if Akbar wants to slow the pace down on him, he's happy to, to play that way as well. But we'll have to see. We don't want to count our chickens before they hatch here. It's actually Aklo in the blue here, Esfat in the red. Classic, yep. And I actually just realized we have the two foxes, uh, the, the the two taunters, but for different reasons. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't think about that, that's right. <laughs> yeah, One's taunts, uh... taunts successfully when he's winning and taunts in a bizarre postmodernist way. <laughs> postmodernist, exactly. Yep. Oh, Esfat. It's like one Aklo taunts the BM his opponent, and it feels like SFAT taunts the BM himself. Uh, <laughs> wow. Good edge cancel back from Aklo, but I'm so impressed by SFAT's face in there. And SFAT just chooses to go from ledge. Nice. Nice, yeah. If he was just a little bit in a different position, he could have easily got the platform. Good pick up from Aklo here. Oh yeah, wow, nice spacing around the getup attack. Doesn't get too much off it though. Ooh. Oh, whoa, that grab, oh my god. Good light dash from SFAT though, and great places here. Mm -hmm. Good angle from Aklo, but that roll in is gonna get caught. Nice. Oh, the Armada. The Armada. I, I, that's the Armada, right? That is the Armada side B from ledge to catch another Fox's side B. Esfat just moving right now. Ooh. God, I, you know, I, I love Esfat and Aklo, but I, I do miss Armada. Oh, my heart misses Armada. He's getting PBs, though. So. He is. He's killing it. Oh, He's Aklo? Oh, man. Smash barely killing. Esfat finds a grab while invincible. Oh my god. Oh. That was a tricky one to pick up, but this is all S fat right here. Nice. nice. Yeah, yeah, that late ledge grab is so effective versus people angling down. Wow, he got that dash chance grab. That's crazy. Okay, S fat opting to. Ooh. This is such a sick tech chase here. It's kind of. He's picked it up and dropped it, but he's still going. Oh, good fast fall from. Oh, wow. Aklo actually fast fell through that back air attempt just barely, and he has one more chance at this game. A good rush down there from SFAT. Ooh, that was a good first Dreamland game there, man. Mm -hmm. Wow. Did you just um, see where, where Aklo, uh, where he picks on his counter pick? I've seen him pick FD quite a lot, actually. So I'm curious if he just goes straight there or if he possibly has something else in mind here. But either way, I'm again, Fox does. I'm just hoping that we can go the distance here. Either way. <laughs> I wonder I wonder if Aklo knows or even cares that SFAT really likes FD, right? Um, so that's one. I don't think we're going to see a link counter pick from Aklo uh, in, in this particular matchup, right? Like, I think there are some cases where it's an unironic pick, but I don't think against SFAT, right? He has a bit of respect for SFAT's Fox. <laughs> in the game long enough. I did think about that, too. I thought, what if there's a chance? <laughs> That'd be sick. I'm I'm also really curious if either of them will go in top mode. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, I feel like S or uh Aklo especially oh, oh my god. How did he Wow Yeah good ledge grabbing like He's just make he's keeping it simple here with back airs. Okay, good short and onto ledge too slow. By S and Aklo's gonna find that with dash tech up smash in the corner. Yeah, SFAT really literally just stood at the ledge knowing that like Aklo yeah. was not gonna reach him with oh. the nair. That's gonna be it. Nice. I, I like the use of shine after the ops attack there. Much more difficult attack. SFAT? Oh, I'm gonna drop this platform pressure, but run straight at Aklo yet again. This has been a quick box it so far, man. It really has. But not only has it been quick, it's it feels like it's very controlled, right? Like I feel like both players have really, really good control. Oh my god. Um of yeah. every neutral interaction, every follow-up. It doesn't feel chaotic even though it's fast. 
Oh, woo. That's fat. Look at that. Who pressures like that on the platform with Nair Shine? So surprised Aklo didn't get Shine out of Shield out, and he's gonna go back to dash dancing here. That's fat. Happy to wait it out. Nice. Nice by Aklo. Mm -hmm. That forward throw into jump back. It's you forget about that situation sometimes. That's fat. Called for it. The J man. Remember that? Indeed. <laughs> Oh, that aggressive shine by Aklo, and he's actually just going all in on SFAT here. Oh, went for it again. He almost found that one. Wow, the Nair spacing right here. I, I think SFAT meant for shine up smash maybe there, but... Right. Oh my god. Aklo's not falling for that back air back. He had it covered. Oh, Sfat found that grab, that, that whiff yeah. punish grab. Man. His dash dancing comes on top so far. Ooh, Akko with the aggressive side B edge cancel. Oh, I love how patient Sfat is playing this. Using the bottom side of the stage, right under that side platform. Mm -hmm. Got some lasers in, but not enough. Yeah. Akko finds the short hop out, and we have an even game here. Oh, caught him with the drill. I got Back a little throw. greedy there, Zoo! And this is all Aklo. Good smash to the left by Sfat, escaping up air. Ooh, Sfat. Oh, Wait! His pressure! Oh, if he... That shine was inspired that he got, but didn't pick up the edge guard. And now Aklo, it's his turn. Oh. Sfat, again, with the ledge dash. Oh. Nice. Okay. Nice. Wait, is he All alive? Right, one more chance. One more chance. Wow. I think Sfat smashed the eye on that up air saved his life. It looks like he smashed the eye down. Yes, he did. I saw that. Oh my god. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What now, a close match. That's that's actually that's actually super crazy because I I wonder if that was intentional because like if Aklo had back aired. Uh, Sfat <laughs> would have <laughs> been absolutely destroyed, right? Um, right. But uh, I guess the SDI down, like, starts your trajectory a little bit lower. And, like, yeah, Sfat might have just died from the top, like you're saying. Um, wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm super curious if that was intentional. Either way, good, good effort. You don't, you don't want, just want to do nothing when you're getting up here. Give, give, it, some, give it some effort. But so important for Aklo to bring us to a 1-1 here in our best of five. Because now he has uh, less counterpoints to deal with in this road to victory. That's right, of course, winning the first game. Let's see what Aklo can find on FD. Like you said, SFAT does enjoy a little final destination in the sense. Yes, he does. And, yeah, so far, Aklo, I mean, both players not getting huge combos, but SFAT, okay, finally getting one started. Oh, okay, went for the Armada again. Safe, though. Was that, like, oh, that that was an up smash, but uh, Aklo doing the, the shortened side B, do you think he did that because he thought SFAT was going to go for that again? It's possible, yeah. Either way, SFAT with a clean lead here. Oh, oh wow, wow. that... That shine almost picked him up on the ground with no jump. Yep, I was thinking the same thing. I saw it. Now it's Estat with the pressure here. Echo struggling to find a grab or a late near here. Estat's playing so defensive. There we go. Finally finds the clipped Nair. Oh, Zoo! That was spaced so well. Estat has gotten that wave dash back on... Oh, oh, interesting. Okay, okay. <laughs> On uh, baited getup attack so many times. Nice. Yep. Uh, oh, okay. oh my god. That's, that's that really confident edge guard where you don't even hold ledge. I mean, that, that time it paid off. But cool guys don't look at explosions. That kind of thing. Okay. Uh, okay. Immediately, uh, immediately gets shine. Okay. Uh, Ooh, bad angle from Sfat. Okay, uh, evens it up. Sfat's gonna have a war with his Nasher after this set. <laughs> okay, let's see. Ooh, okay. Yeah, tough to deal with that slight DI back in Aklo. Great defensive smash DI, but this is all Sfat here. Nice. Oh my god. 
I thought punish routes are so good right now. Finds the over 100 get up with up smash. That could be punished by anything, but I, I yep. loved all those those options there. I said just dashing away. Happy to make Aqua work for these openings. Ooh, scary recovery now. Let's see if Aqua can even this up. Oh, this is this is bad right now. Wow! Aqua holding on by a thread here with these mid shortens. There it is. Oh, Zoo, this is possible for Aklo. Mm -hmm. Big comeback, only at 70%. Oh, oh he missed the jump, or uh, the, the wave land after. Right. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. That's that with the dash back up smash. Really good punish there. I, I felt like Aklo could have done it there mm -hmm. uh, for about a half second. But good, good stuff to SFAT winning on his counter pick. That's the thing with FD, right? It's like, it's, it uh, arguably puts more emphasis on neutral because one neutral win just leads to so much more almost all the time. Yeah. And like one knockdown um, that we saw from, from Aklo at the end, like could have led to honestly a stock. Like um, I think in a lot of situations, Aklo could have converted that, but um, you know, SFAT made it hard for him. Uh, ended up getting the kill. Let's see where we go game. Uh, I think we're game four now, right? Mm -hmm. Two, one SFAT. This is game four, two, one. And man, I, I was impressed with a lot of uh, the defensive tech by Aklo in that set. And it felt like even though he was able to escape up throw chain grabs with that good uh, slight TI back, it kind of didn't matter too much when SFAT just was running all over him with Nair for the entire game, it felt like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Here. Yep. Wow, I, I like that jump off shine turn on option by SFAT. Doesn't find the full drill, but. He's doing big moves here. Akko actually went for, for the ledge there. Big greedy option if Estet stayed, which he yep. has made that read a couple times this set already. He could have just lost his stock. Oh my god. Like right there. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Akko's really far out. I feel like Estet should just be able to cover everything. Yep. Estet is so good with these edge guard shines catching his opponent with no jump. I feel like most foxes went back air, and that's actually a less favorable angle to send them. And that's going huge with the up smash tech chase now. Mm, good trade for Esfat there. It's like Aklo is able to smash you out of the drill perfectly and get a little bit of a trade, but Esfat is winning the neutral interactions here. Look at Esfat just showing his back to him, threading up tilt. Oh, and the platform actually saves Esfat a little bit there. Oh my, S-Fat. Dude, look at how comfortable S-Fat is on the last pixel of the corner. Yeah, he really is. It reminds me of like game one where he literally just stood there, you know? Yeah. How did he use the whole stage? Oh, okay. That's right, that was really funny. Oh yeah. my. But he's gone for that a few times where when he runs out of stage, he actually just tries jumping off and double jumping back on. That time Aklo finds a counter for it. Whoa, that air dodge, crazy. Was that, that might have been intentional, huh? Just to like escape for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, Aklo? Oh no. Yeah, accidental ledge jump there. There should just be one more back air for SFAT. Oh, <gasps> what's happening? Oh. oh yeah, Aklo went for that quick side B, but SFAT has seen that one before. Fat, happy to shield pressure him now. Good nares by Aklo. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, Evens it up. Nowhere. I, uh... Hmm. Okay. Let's see what s can get on the platform. Ooh, sour spot on the up smash. Ooh, Aklo said no more ledge dashes today, s -Fat. Go drop back air beats SFAT's back air. Nice. Ooh, Aklo. That was a really sick stock. He wants to bring it to a game five here. Yeah, it's it's so interesting. That this match in particular feels so much more scrambly than the the first three games. It's just like so much chaos. And and I wonder if like that works to Aklo's benefit right now. Um but yeah, SFAT just can't clean up this stock. Oh, that, oh I, I think Aklo's got... No, he missed! 
so close to the game being over, but SFAT has another answer here. He could close it out 3 1. Oh, oh my god, SFAT. He's going turbo he... mode. He continued that tech chase. I know. Through him. <laughs> what, what? Oh, oh. SFAT, no. Out of nowhere. That felt all like all Aklo. Zoo, if you blinked, you missed that last three stock interaction there. Oh my goodness. What a roller coaster of a situation. Aklo's going to be out into losers there at 3 1 to SFAT. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know exactly how the previous sets went, but you know, 3 1, similar score to the 3 0, 3 1 that we saw from uh, before. But um, you know, that, that looked competitive. Uh, I, I definitely agree. Aklo had like a lot of momentum um, going into that last stock, and then SFAT like out of nowhere, like you're saying, like got that one knockdown. And I, I actually don't even know, like he he like extended that whole thing in a lot of situations that like almost yeah. no other Fox player would have been able to extend, right? Yeah, it was giving me shades of uh, a 